Hey guys, welcome back. We're in southeast Utah. We're base camping at the Fish and Owl Creek Canyon Loop Hike in southeast Utah down Highway 261, part of the Cedar Mesa complex. And we've got a really fun route planned over the next couple of days. We're going to do a loop hike through these two canyons, totaling, we'll see what the actual mileage is, but probably around 20-ish or so miles. It's supposed to be a classic backpacking route in this section of the Cedar Mesa area, and we'll take you along for the ride. Day one, we're at the Fish and Owl Creek Canyon Trailhead. Slept just down in a little dispersed spot last night. It's about 8.30 in the morning. Packs are loaded up, and we're ready to rock. We are just going down Slick Rock into the canyon right now. So this is a pretty steep descent. Um, still, like, I don't know, surface is nice and grippy on our shoes. It's not that bad, but um, read online and looked at the topo map, it's about 800 vertical feet descent over a quarter of a mile. Yeah, you're going way, way down. We're definitely going down more feet than we are, like, actually traveling. It's just a straight descent. Lots of exposure, too. I don't know if uh, we're going to be able to pick it up on camera super great. But like 10 feet to my left, it's a sheer slick rock drop off of at least probably 250 or 300 feet. Uh, so some pretty sweet exposure. <laughs> We made it down to the bottom of the canyon. So it took us under an hour to descend into the canyon, but it definitely was slow going. Lots of scooting along Slick Rock. And there is a lot of water down here for us, which we love to see. We've packed up a lot of water just in case it was scant, but this is making us feel a lot better. There are fish in this pool of water. Yeah. They're jamming up the thing right now. Yeah. Now, never in all my years would I have guessed that we would be seeing running water going through this canyon. We made it to camp tonight. We are just shy of eight miles in, so about halfway done with the loop hike. And we are gonna head down to the river uh, to cook dinner, purify some more water, and relax. Worked out nicely. We were told that uh, water would have ended about a mile previously than, uh, than what we did, but we just followed the trail down. We're able to do like another mile more than what we intended to do today, and it worked out pretty good. Tonight for dinner, I'm cooking chicken marbella. I have the rice boiling right now, along with some flax seeds and chia seeds that I put into almost every backpacking meal. And then as a surprise for Ben, which isn't really a surprise because he was the one curing the food, but I brought with um, some hard salami that's shelf stable and some crackers. So he's eating that right now. This looks so ugly, but I promise it tastes good. We're done with dinner. It is 5.30 p.m. So we have an early night with lots of relaxation, but we're gonna get water filtration out of the way early in this wonderful creek that we're by. Nice, clear, cool water loaded with bugs. And so be it. Water filtration is done. The sun is just starting to set in the canyon. And we are heading back to camp for a little R&R. &R. What's your favorite task? <laughs> Filtering water, of course. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my favorite. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. 
We look like we've been back country for a week. And it's only the first day. <laughs> <laughs> My sleeping pad was leaking, and Ben helpfully found where the leak was and repaired it with a piece of duct tape. So I am sleeping pretty tonight on a newly repaired pack. It was bound to happen sometime. Um, don't know how we did it. It was fine the last time we used them, but that's the way it goes in the backcountry. It's dark out and we are just hitting the sack for tonight. It's just past 9 p.m. So we are <laughs> really rocking it hard and going to bed late. Oh, yeah, so it was a good day. Um, probably look super goofy with this headlamp like this, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> we did a good 7.5, and uh, but it's 7.5 in the canyons, which is kind of a whole different game. Um, it went really well though. We're tired. We're ready for bed. We're gonna go to bed. We're gonna wake up early. We're gonna go do this giant section where there's no water. And then we're hopefully gonna complete the loop tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a long, fun day it's tomorrow. Be a long day. But we should get into some awesome country. It's about 6 30 in the morning. Just got dressed, woke up. The sun has yet to hit the canyon. And we are making coffee to get an early start this morning. How'd you sleep last night? Overall, pretty good, actually. Um, it got a little cold, but it probably wasn't below like 28 or 30 degrees. I don't know if it froze last night. It got cold enough to, I think. But um, no, all in all, pretty good. 1,000 milliliters of piping hot coffee just as the sun is starting to get into the canyon here. Camp's packed up. We beat the morning sun still. <sighs> I think we're heading for the good stuff. We gotta make time. So here we go. So here we are at the confluence. We've been following this dry wash almost the entire time. Here's the last piece of Fish Canyon, and then it's a little difficult to see from here, but right behind this convergence is the start of Owl Canyon. Already I'm dreaming about dinner tonight, which is going to be cheesy mashed potatoes. And if we make it back to the car, don't have to camp out here. I got mozzarella to put in it. Ooh, Ooh mama, we're gonna be eating good. We have officially entered Owl Canyon. The convergence was probably about a mile back. We're now working our way slowly upstream and the views keep getting better. All right. We have him with still strumming on Fridays. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> That's the arch. What's the arch name? Neville's Arch. Neville's Arch. And it is big. A very nice arch. It's yeah. a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, I'll yeah. try to get a better view of it. Super pretty. Quite large. About five miles upstream from where we last had water, we've hit water again. It looks like good water, too. So we are really doing well. We're really happy with these trail conditions. Well, 
That was short. Started the ascent out of Owl Canyon already. Oh yeah. It's 11 a.m. We're making time. We're just the dream team oh, here. We're gaining elevation. That's always a good time. Oh, wow, that's cool. There's a duck down there. Holy mackerel. He's in the shade now. That is. We just happened upon an absolutely amazing canyon desert oasis. Look at this pool of water. Wow. Comes with a waterfall and everything. The desert is full of surprises. <laughs> it's quite the cairn bin. This trail doesn't give us any breaks, does it? <laughs> it's definitely run for our money, huh? Uh-huh. So we actually circled around a side canyon scrambled up onto a ledge and are on top of that oasis that I had filmed earlier. It's very pretty up here as well. Beautiful running stream, water running. I'll get a view. lunch in the shade at high noon Ooh. with a view next to running water. Could you want anything else, Ben? No, this is darn near perfect. <laughs> Out of breath because I just finished a nice <laughs> scramble. It's like, it's class three plus. It's like, Take it out by me. You technically That's don't what we gave up. but you kind of <laughs> almost won it for safety. No, I was fine. <laughs> I scrambled plus. up it Class like three. a cat. Yeah. All right, onwards. Onwards. We're almost done uh -huh. in this beautiful rugged country. This is a wonderful way to end our trip, visiting some ancient uh, ancestral Pueblo ruins. Hey, hot dog. <laughs> we made it.
Here's your hot chocolate. Perfect way to end a loop hike.